All right, so let's let me get into this other question I wanted to ask. This is now this is separate. Now this is just jumping on something else, but it's also kind of related. So, on the Joe Budden podcast, uh, Melissa Ford recently made a comment about K- uh, Mason Cam. So what happened was Mason Cam told a story about them hitting a girl at the escort, double teaming a chick, uh, and some escorts or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She then on their podcast, it gets kind of brought up and she kind of hits to the point like, why would they bring that up with the way the climate is right now? And she kind of overstepped where she said, do they know that none of these women were underage? Yeah, she <laughs> she just brought it up out of nowhere. So then Cameron and Mace uh, bring a uh, respond to her. Mace kind of violates because he said on your mama's life. Melissa Ford's parents are dead. Like, he was like, on your mama life, like, don't put no shit like that on me. So I felt like he kind of crossed the line on that end. I have to hear the context of how he said it because on your mom's, like, New York nigga shit. But it was like, I don't know, the way he said it was kind (laughs) of like he could have, he kind of made it like he was making a point. If he was like, on your mom's type shit. Not that serious, but he if he was like on your mother's life, that's different. <laughs> if oh. he said all the words for real, trying to see because everybody has a setup. Up. Everybody has a setup where it's just Cameron and Melissa Ford. But I'm gonna play what Melissa Ford said first. <laughs> I don't think that's right. What you doing? I don't think that's right. Well, who's doing? What you doing? I don't what? think that's right. Like I, them niggas clearly went to a whorehouse, yeah. took somebody up out of here. Says them. And that's who told and, the story. And, and, but that's and, who just, but that's who told I the story. I get that. I get that. So, of course, it says the who else is, is there. Is there, is there, is there, a, is there a distinct possibility that there may have been underage girls in that horse? That sounds like you. Girl, I love you, but that was crazy. All right. So, let me play with Cam said. Sharpshooters, and I know, Lee, be and careful. Riley. Cause I tell you one thing, I, I know a lot you of people are ice. Snipers and sharpshooters. S- snipers, sharpshooters. I know people are ice. I have you escorted back up across the border. Be careful. Be careful. I, I, and it screams that to Rachel. Get a petition to get you out the country. Cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna let you stay, but kill it. Nah, nah, I'll get, get out the stay. damn country. <laughs> I make I make two calls, man. <laughs> but I was looking back. Real quick, mm-hmm. Cam and um, Mace. Mace have the podcast with the most interesting set of voices. Yeah, for sure. Like they're they're both their tones are like very distinct and unique, and it low key it don't even matter what they're saying to me. Go ahead. No, I I want to say this because I think first off, Melissa Ford did violate when yeah that when was she brought crazy. that up. It, that was that was nuts. She just. See, and I think the problem was for that <laughs> was because she was leading to a good point. And the point she should have went off to instead of trying to throw some child shit on a jacket was you should have said, let's talk about how these men in these prominent positions need to be more responsible with information that nobody needs to know. Yeah. Because that's how conversations can get you fucked up. Because you bringing this up, you talking about bam, bamming on a chick and whatnot. And then now somebody else can say, oh, well, this happened while I was under the influence or this happened while like you running your mouth is what's going to get you fucked up. She just went over the board, which in a way kind of saves them because now everybody's focused on what Melissa Ford is saying rather than hmm, maybe we should dive deeper into the bullshit that they was on. But like at the end it's of the day, a, they say they saying they was running trains and whorehouses. Yeah, that's kind of what the story was the gist of. Like, don't nobody need to know that. And, and, like, you trying to do this to show some machismo, some, oh, I'm that nigga type of shit. But in the same token, like, it goes back to what I said last time. When you living in that kind of life and you a- actively being part of that sexual deviance and you have a relevant name, you're put. that's a recipe for trouble. Do you think, as a man, a man telling you that A man of means or a normal man? Just any man... Rules are different. Just no, 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 no. Just a general man. Do you think that a man telling you that he ran a train on another woman makes him any cooler? Like, does that give him any points to you? Do you know any men that that 
would give a man points to like do, like yeah, I know I know there's niggas that would give points to that. To me, how is that the a only feat the only way real? only way would be a feat it would be women who I would never expect to do that. Like that's the only way it would be some shit like fly shit like that like you got some like on some normal nigga shit like you got some chick who was in the church and her sister or her friend in the church to bust it that like I didn't expect them to do that, and you told me that. Bro, oh shit, this nigga on some. Yeah, but if you, but if you if you if a you rich get the nigga train t- girl. Yeah, if you on a, if you a rich nigga telling me you fuck some escorts, like that's not fly. Like that's not going to be fly like, the way you think it is. When I was in high school, there was this girl. Her name was Top Top. Oh, that was shit. her nickname. <laughs> that shit was crazy. Her father was a whole pastor, but like, was her name Top Top because she was sucking dick? Yes. everything crazy like it was absolutely insane like it was a sport like the the stories i heard about her on a regular basis were crazy as a young man you appreciate that though this was like the first like hoe that i knew yeah that first hoe was but yeah like appreciate it if 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 you run a train on the the local hoe that's not a feat nigga like there was never <laughs> there's never been a story or of a nigga telling me him running a train on a chick that it sounded fly like nothing about train sound dope. Like usually the chick that they they talking about is mud. Like she ain't she ain't really hitting on nothing. Like you the nigga who telling it always like the third to the last nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like he always the third or the last. Like he he's in the last group of niggas telling the story. How does it feel to be the last man in the train? I've never I've never conducted myself. So I'm not asking you. I was asking just. Who, if if this pertains to you, I want you to comment and let me know. I would like to know. Yeah, I've never been a conductor. That was never one of my uh, things I wanted to investigate. I just to me, I never thought it was fly having like another nigga dick in the vicinity. Of, <laughs> of me fucking. Like that just never felt like the move. Just, just in the like general for, area, for, like, I don't want it near like at just, all. Just for like my own comfort, but then also like my own paranoia. Because like, what if she's like measuring us? Like, I don't want her to size me up next to another nigga. And like, he and then what, what, if, what, what if, if he's killing my shit? Like, yeah, <laughs> what, what if she's like very obviously enjoying him more than you? Yeah, I don't want that. Like, then on your ego, can you get hard again? I'm telling you, like, I'm gonna walk out the room. Like, if y'all taking turns and then you go first, he goes second. She's having a blast. You go third. You can't get hard for that third round if you like. I'm, I know I'm giving you something you don't want right I'm a, now. I'm ma'am. gonna be upset when like you, when he put it in your mouth and it make that extra sound that I can't reach. Like <laughs> I'm gonna be upset about that. Like I'm like, whoa, my nigga, what the fuck? You hit a gear that I didn't even know was there. <laughs> I wasn't tall enough for that ride, sir. Why did you? I'm hearing sounds that I didn't hear when I was doing how, my part. How were you able to do that? <laughs> Like, how are, what are you on? <laughs> oh my God! So now nah. you, you just gonna have to sit in the corner and be a cuck. Yeah, it was. Ne- I could. I was never on no. Like then, like, what if you come first? So then now it's like, now I'm sitting here watching this. Like, what, like you know, what I'm saying like, there's so many. You things just gonna have to sit in the corner and be wa- a cuck. I don't want to be in that predicament. So it never was like, like fucking is not a competition I want to have. Yeah, I feel like niggas don't think about the logistics of running trains. No, they do. They're just nasty niggas that can't get it no other way. Cause it was never to me. It was not. Well, see, I said I can't. I don't want to. I don't want to tell on myself too much. I got my, my my queen here. But okay, I I've had male friends that wanted to run trains on women. Like that was like a goal that they had. But like, I but was, they didn't they didn't achieve the goal. But like they they weren't necessarily like I get no pussy niggas. Like they they they. They could dip in something when they wanted to dip in something. Like, I, my friends are, like, some of the closest people I have in the world. I never want to fuck with any of you niggas. Like, ever. I never want to see any of y'all fuck. You know what? I never want to, like, in, I, anything that has y'all doing with women, I never want to be a part of it. My, let me shut the fuck up. I don't know if my friends want people to know what I would say. Just so. don't say their name. Nah, be, I wasn't going to say their names, but, like. I have a particular group of friends. As long as you don't say their name, niggas don't go to know. Okay, but I feel like my my friends um are a little bit 
Like they don't they wouldn't mind seeing each other's dicks. None of them Yo, are gay what though. The fuck? None of them are gay though. None of them niggas are gay. All of them, all of them love women and vagina. Love women, love vagina, but also don't mind seeing each other's dicks. I don't think that they would mind. I genuinely don't. That's fucking insane. Wouldn't mind seeing it. That's insane. I ge- but my, we are special. That's we insane. special. That's insane. <laughs> All right, we about Shout to get out off to y'all. That's my niggas. 